The action crime series Bloodhounds on Netflix was created by Ju H. Wan Kim, also known as Jason Kim. It is based on a webtoon comic of the same name in Korean written and illustrated by Mangaka Jiang Chan. Wu Do-wen, Lee Sang-hee, Ha Jun-ho, Kim S. A. Iran, Choi Si-won, and Lee Hee-young are the main actors in the South Korean drama. Boxers Kim Gun-woo and Hong Woo Jin partner up with Mr. Choi to defeat a potent loan shark who is crushing small company owners in the story's central action. However, the team encounters a number of obstacles and losses along the way. This video will tell you everything you need to know about Bloodhound's conclusion if you're wondering whether Gun Wu and Wu Jin succeed despite all the obstacles they face and the cost they pay to uphold the law. Spoilers ahead. Bloodhound's plot synopsis. The story of Bloodhound centers on Kim Gun Wu, a teenage boxer who enters a rookie competition to acquire money for his mother's loan repayment. Small company owners' capacity to repay debts has been hampered by the COVID-19 epidemic, which has put a burden on their earnings. Loan sharks like Kim Myung Gil have become more powerful and well-known as a result. Myung Gil is attempting to join businessman Hong Min Baeam in his pursuit of a hotel that is currently being built that he plans to convert to a casino. But when Hong pushes back, Myung Gil's thugs beat him up and made a humiliating film of him. During the rookie competition, Gun Woo meets fellow boxer Hong Woo Jin. The two soon became friends after dining together because they were both Marines. Gun Wu is good-hearted yet naive, but Wu Jin makes up for this with his street smarts. In another location, Mr. Choi's granddaughter Hyun Ju is looking for the con artist who deceived her grandfather. Yang Yimeong took advantage of him. Choi's generosity, who offers 0% interest loans to individuals in need. However, Hyun Ju discovers a bigger plot as a result of her pursuit of Yimeong. One day, Gun Wu's mother is offered a loan by Myung Gil's business Small Capital in exchange for extremely low interest rates. Although Small Capital advertises low interest loans, it is quickly discovered that they actually pilfer money from their customers. They destroy Gun Wu's mother's business after she is unable to pay back a loan installment, leading Gun Wu to engage in combat with Myung Gil's goon. Gun Wu is ultimately vanquished, and Myung Gil scars his face as retaliation for the insults directed at the loan shark. In contrast, Hyun Ju learns that Yimeong uses stolen identification from the destitute to obtain loans from sharks and gives the money to Smile Capital. Mr. Choi looks to recruit a kind-hearted bodyguard for his granddaughter after learning that Hyun Ju is following hazardous individuals. When Mr. Choi meets Gun Woo and Woo Jin, he is struck by their character. He hires the pair to protect Hyun Ju, and he also helps Gun Woo pay back his mother's sizable loan with interest. When the boxing team jeopardizes Hyun Ju's intention to approach Yimeong's supervisor, their connection with each other becomes strained. However, Hyun Ju, Gun Woo, and Woo Jin rapidly become friends as they pursue the same goal of aiding those who are oppressed by lone sharks. The three's inquiry soon reveals Myung Gil's errors and his history with Mr. Choi. Myung Gil, on the other hand, discovers that Mr. Choi's followers are after him. When Mr. Choi was a ruthless lone shark, Myung Gil was a lackey under him. In order to aid those in need, Mr. Choi gave up his life as a lone shark. He then raised the orphan child Hyun Ju as his own granddaughter. However, Myung Gil took advantage of the predicament to rob Mr. Choi, paralyzing him from the waist down in the process. Myung Gil therefore established his own empire. Mr. Choi summons his most dependable thugs, A Chuang Gyong Young and Li Du Young, out of retirement to deal with Myung Gil. But Mr. Choi's scheme is foiled when Myung Gil's men shoot him and one of his goons, leaving just Gun Wu, Wu Jin, and Hyun Ju alive as they narrowly manage to flee the house. Bloodhound's ending. Do Gun Wu and Wu Jin stop Myung Gil? In the epilogue, Myung Gil's attack, which resulted in the deaths of Mr. Choi and others, forces Gun Wu and Wu Jin into hiding. However, under the close supervision of Mr. O, Mr. Choi's partner, the boxers are patiently passing the time, building up their strength and healing from their wounds. Gun Wu and Wu Jin will soon return to the mainland with plans to overthrow Myung Gil and exact revenge for the passing of their mentor. They locate Hong Min Baeam right away because they think he might be an ally since they share an enemy. The boxers are unable to apprehend Myung Gil despite the assistance of Hong and his law enforcement relative Gang Yang. Nevertheless, their actions make Myung Gil's misdeeds known, causing him to flee. In the end, Gun Wu and Wu Jin discover that Myung Gil intends to leave the nation with his gold and money using a way that his former associate Kim Jun Min has taught him. In order to find out Myung Gil's path to Vietnam, the boxers turn to Kim Jun Min and pay him with Hong's assistance. Myung Gil is found by Gun Wu and Wu Jin at the ship carrying him to Vietnam. The lone shark and his goons are faced by the boxers as they make their final stand. Gun Wu and Wu Jin triumph in the ensuing brawl, ultimately disposing of their adversary and putting a stop to him for good. The boxers successfully exact revenge on Mr. Choi's murder while Myung Gil is apprehended and made to pay for his misdeeds. What does Gun Wu do with the money? Gun Wu and Wu Jin recover the gold and cash Myung Gil stole from Mr. Choi after his downfall. The fighters' possession of billion dollar worth of gold bars might allow them to have luxurious lives. But in typical Gun Wu form, he declines to keep the cash for himself. Gun Wu instead chooses to carry out Mr. Choi's objectives by spending the funds to support others. In the end, Gun Wu hands the cash over to Hong, who promises to use it to open a hospital offering free medical care to the underprivileged. 
whatever the situation, Gun Wu never compromises on his goodness. In addition, he opposes the healing of his wound because it facilitates his ability to connect deeply with others, which prompts him to confront Myung Gil. However, as a gesture of appreciation for their assistance in preserving his reputation and preventing Myung Gil from further abusing him, Hong presents some of the money to Gun Wu and Wu Jin. In the epilogue, Gun Wu is reunited with his mother, the boxers experience a happy ending, and the family walks into the sunset before returning to their regular lives. Or did Hyun Ju go? Hyun Ju plays a key role in the trio that unintentionally reveals Myung Gil in the television series. She was nurtured by Mr. Choi like his own grandchild despite being an orphan. Hyun Ju's schemes were what caused the group to reveal Smile Capital. On the other side, Hyun Ju also begins to mellow when Gun Wu and Wu Jin are around and develops a sense of a real family. However, after Mr. Choi's passing, Hyun Ju fully leaves the area and breaks off contact with the boxers. She informs Mr. Oh in a letter before departing that she is relocating to Rome. Hyun Ju is emotionally depleted as a result of the bloodshed and death caused by the battle with Myung Gil. She makes the decision to depart the nation in order to keep her word to Mr. Choi. In the end, Hyun Ju's grief over losing her grandfather leads her to give up becoming a vigilante, reflecting Mr. Choi's decisions in that she prefers peace to fighting. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.